Whether you want a simple budget laptop, a productivity workhorse, or a screaming machine for gaming, finding the best laptop for you isn't an easy task. It can be a major investment, one that you may have to live with for years. That's why in this video I have rounded up the best laptops for 2021. Before we start, let me know which laptop you currently own and why are you looking it to replace. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the links in the description below. Starting the list with the best all-round laptop, I can recommend the Gigabyte Aero 15X9. The Gigabyte Aero 15X9 is a curious laptop that tries to enhance its normal workstation features with its kind of design that's usually seen in gaming machines. Gigabyte is relatively new to the gaming laptop scene, but its line of Aero laptops are solid machines for on-the-go gaming and productivity. There's a 15.6-inch Full HD 4K Ultra High Definition screen on offer that I know of, with an IPS type panel. This laptop has a screen that is offered in just the one resolution of 1920 to 1080 pixel and 3840 to 2160 pixel. There is not a touch screen model. This Gigabyte laptop features an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 graphics card, an Intel Core i7 8750H CPU and 16GB of RAM. You'll be able to nurse the Gigabyte through a day's work away from the mains if you use low intensity applications and keep the screen brightness down, but only just. Also remember that tougher work will slash the battery life. Expect 4 hours or less if you run applications that hammer the CPU and GPU. Estimated to last 6 hours and 35 minutes. Moving on, best for the money, it's the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X CPU and an NVIDIA RTX 3070 GPU, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro has a lot of grunt. More importantly, it knows how to take full advantage of that grunt. With a 140 watt TGP and an air rich chassis, that GPU is allowed to stretch its legs. Powerful fans mean that the CPU can do the same. The speakers are great, the display is phenomenal, and there's plenty of high speed storage for all your games. The Legion 5 Pro reminds me of older gaming laptops with its bulky design and hinge replacement. The Legion 5 Pro reminds me of older gaming laptops with its bulky design and hinge placement. At more than an inch thick, this is no svelte gaming machine. It's also quite heavy at nearly 5.5 pounds. In addition to the 2560 to 1600 resolution, the Legion 5 Pro's display also goes up to 165 Hz and supports G-Sync. You'll have smooth gameplay at up to 165 frames per second with minimal screen tearing. Playing games like Destiny 2 at high frame rates was an excellent experience overall. The Legion 5 Pro has an 80WHR battery, which is a pretty decent size. Judging from the inside, it doesn't look like they had any more room for something bigger either. In order to get the best out of the battery life, you need to enable Optimus. By default, the iGPU is disabled and G-Sync is on estimated to last around 5 hours and 37 minutes of use. Next on the list, we have the best value gaming laptop, the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. The Asus Zephyrus G14 was the laptop AMD used when it showed the world its Ryzen 4000 processors for gaming laptops. And now we kind of see why. Still, the Asus Zephyrus G14 is limited to a GTX 1650. The level of performance that the processor brings to the table leads us to wonder that what a system with a more powerful GPU would be capable of, but at the end of the day, with a 1080p display, it's more than enough to max out every single game on the market today. Overall, that's a machine that can be altered in whatever you want. A gaming device, a portable notebook that can be used in the park, or you can take it with you in the office and it'll do the job as well because of its powerful hardware. The battery life? This will sound almost too good to be true. More than 11 hours of battery, awesome performance for gaming and VR, thermal management that never gets hot to the touch, and a design that can both satisfy gamers and look at home in more professional settings. All this plus funky personalization features. Best high-end for all you premium lovers, we have the MSI GE76 Raider, aka the Rainbow Warrior. 
If you're going to use a laptop to replace your desktop, the closest experience you'll get is opting for something big and powerful. With a 17.3 inch display up to an Intel Core i7 11800H and an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080, the MSI GE76 Raider is one of the best gaming laptops for those looking for a desktop replacement. It even brings excess amount of RGB lighting courtesy of a full light bar under the wrist rest. Of course, performance isn't all about the CPU and GPU. MSI has equipped this laptop with 32GB of high performance RAM that can be removed and upgraded over time. The included SSD also leverages PCIe Gen 4 fast transfer speeds. The body of the GE76 Raider is built from a combination of aluminum and polycarbonate, but the lid is completely strapped in machine aluminum. The lid has a single MSI Dragon Jewel at the top center of the lid, but despite the gamer aesthetic, the logo doesn't have any lighting. That means the Raider wouldn't look terribly out of the place in a business environment. It features a huge 99.9 watt per hour battery that can carry you through most of workday before needing to be plugged in. With such a large screen and powerful hardware, battery life is decent, but still not enough to see you through a full 9 to 5 without needing to recharge. Climbing up the ladder, we have the best 2-in-1 laptop, the Asus ROG Flow X13. The Razer Blade Stealth 13 was a long time the smallest gaming laptop you could buy. The Asus ROG Flow X13 has something to say about that. It's the second 13-inch gaming laptop you can buy right now. But in some ways, it takes things even further. With up to an RTX 3050 T Titan GPU and Ryzen 9 5900HS uh, processor, you can rest assured that these are the most powerful components you could possibly stuff in a laptop of this size. In terms of size and weight, it's lighter and smaller than the Zephyrus G14. You can toss the Flow X13 into your backpack and almost forget it's there. The minimalist all-black design is what you'd expect from the ROG line. Its lid and bottom have textured diagonal lines along with an ROG nameplate on the bottom corner. You'll find similar, albeit thinner, diagonal lines on the palm rests. The textured lines aren't purely for show as they provide decent grip. You won't find the Flow X13's battery life impressive. It took me less than two hours to drain the battery when playing the aforementioned games back to back. However, I managed to get a decent five hours when browsing the web and watching videos. Still, Asus is redefining the two-in-one category with this product, making it most powerful 13-inch two-in-one laptop with gaming DNA. For the beautiful display, we have the Dell XPS 15 7590. The Dell XPS 15 7590 makes a case for itself by sporting an optional OLED panel, Intel's latest 9th generation 6 and 8 core CPUs, Nvidia's GTX 1650 GPU, and finally an above display webcam. Other than this webcam's positions above the screen, the XPS 15 7590's chassis is unchanged from its predecessors. The XPS 15 is a good-looking tapered slab that combines a silvery aluminum lid with centered chrome Dell logo with a black soft touch carbon fiber keyboard deck. The base model weighs a trim 4 pounds with the non-touch screen laptop screens don't come any better than the Dell XPS 15's high resolution panel, which the company boasts covers 100% of the Adobe RGB color gamut for accuracy when viewing and editing images. Brightness and contrast are first class, and fine details are as sharp as you'd expect from a 4K display. Colors get muddy when the brightness is turned down but are rich and vivid when it's up, making viewing images, stripped videos, or even playing web pages a pleasure. Past XPS 15 models did well in my battery test, especially the 1080p LED model. The new 4K OLED model doesn't last that long but still posts respectable results. The XPS 15 lasted around 7.5 hours in light web browsing and around an hour more in local video playback. And last but not least, Best under $1,000, we have the Acer Swift X. The Acer Swift X looks to bring the Acer Swift brand's affordability to the creative laptop world, and it's all about delivering solid specs at a great price, without relying on the extra features that make some of the best laptops so expensive. So the Acer Swift X isn't the thinniest or lightest laptop. It doesn't have a fancy OLED display, and its bezels aren't the thinniest in the world. But what you do get is a speedy AMD Ryzen processor and up to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Titan, which will help you get your work done, even if you don't shell out for the fanciest laptop on the shelf. 
There's no question that the Acer Swift X provides enough CPU and GPU performance for on-the-go co content creators. With an octa-core Ryzen 7 5800U, the Swift X offers blazing application performance and strong multimedia performance. Add in the RTX 3050 Titan graphics and you get a considerable boost in 3D graphics and gaming capability from the ordinary ultra portable with an integrated GPU. It's rare to find a laptop this compact with this much performance. If there's one aspect that Acer has been working hard on over the past few years, that would be the battery life. Even its most modest entry-level notebooks feature compelling battery lives uh, and the Swift X at hand is not about to break that streak. With an estimated 8 hours of average use on a single charge, this laptop is about to turn into the perfect travel companion. It's not going to last you all day, but it will more than get you through the majority of your trips. Alright guys, we come to the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, then please leave a like down below. And if you have any questions about the laptops we just mentioned, then don't hesitate, drop a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you, of course, on the next video. Till then, peace out.